What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this super quick guide, I'll show you how to get working voice chat on your Minecraft server incredibly easily for 2025-26. Let's do it. Obviously, as we're covering a server guide, you're expected to be hosting a server of some sort or another. In order to get the simple voice chat mod working as expected, you'll need to add this to an existing server. For example, right over here, I've got a Fabric 1.21.11 server that I'm able to run and join. I've got a ton of self-hosted Minecraft server guides for which you'll find them linked down below. And you'll need either a bucket, fabric, folia, forge, paper, quilt, neoforge, velocity, waterfall, spigot, basically any kind of Minecraft server, as long as it supports some kind of mods, in order to actually use the simple voice chat mod, which is by far the most widely supported voice chat mod. If you don't already have a server or you're looking for something a little bit better and easier for you and your friends to play on, then I'd highly recommend checking out this video's sponsor, Apex Hosting. Apex Hosting are a fantastic server hosting company for Minecraft and other games. And if you're looking for a powerful, reliable server host with fantastic customer support, automated backups, unlimited slots, free subdomains, powerful DDoS protection, and so much more, Apex Hosting is a fantastic choice. Simply head across to apexhost.gg slash tcno and check the top of the page for the current discount code. At this point, it's Apex 25 for 25% off your first order. Simply hit rent your server or get started, select Minecraft, Bedrock, or any other game for that matter, select your server size, order, and in no time, you'll have a powerful, reliable Minecraft server running for you and your friends to play on. A huge shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this guide. So, simple voice chat. I've already got a server running here with a mods folder in it. Yours might be titled plugins or something like that. All you need to do is head across to Modrinth, linked down below, and choose Download on the simple voice chat page. From here, you can select your game version, for which basically every major version is supported, all the way back to 1.8.8. I'll be playing on 1.21.11, so I'll select that, and we'll then need to choose our server type. Mine is Fabric, so I'll scroll down to it and select it here. Then I'll choose Download, and just like that, we're given a jar file. All that's left to do now is navigate across to our server folder, open up the mods or plugins folder, and drag the plugin into here. If you've just set up a Minecraft server and this is your first mod, it'll probably be the only thing in here. Just a quick note, any Fabric or Fabric-based server needs to have the Fabric API mod in here as a required dependency, even though the Modrinth page here doesn't mention it. There's a couple of dependencies mentioned here, which can give you better support for different things, but they're not required. The only thing that is required, at least for Fabric, is the Fabric API, which you'll find linked down below if you need it. Once you've placed the voice chat mod in your mods or plugins folder, you can head back and restart your server. That's basically all the setup that's required. The first time you start up your server, you should see a new config folder appear, which, for example, for Fabric servers, is located in the config folder. Inside of here, I've got a brand new folder called Voice Chat, and we've got the configuration files for the voice server. If you're running something like Paper MC or Bucket inside of your plugins folder, right next to the actual jar file, you'll see a similarly named folder here, which contains the same config files. Inside of the voice chat server dot properties file, opening it with any text editor, you're able to customize a few things about your server. For example, we can change the max distance at which people are heard, the whisper distance, the codec that's used, and a bunch of other things that can help solve issues on your server, such as allowing recordings, spectator recordings, group chats, etc. However, the only really important thing inside of here that you do need to take note of is the port mentioned at the very top. If you're hosting this server on your own computer or own hardware, you'll need to make sure that you understand how to open ports, both in your Windows or whatever OS you're using's firewall, and of course, how to forward a port to your system. If you followed one of my previous Minecraft server hosting guides, then you already know how to do this. If you're using a third-party provider like Apex Hosting, you'll need to make sure that you can open port 24454, or you're able to change the port here to something that is supported. You unfortunately can't use the same port that Minecraft uses by default, 25565, as it's strongly not recommended. This is the one that I'll need to make sure to port forward and allow through my Windows firewall for other players to hear my voice properly. For example, on the Apex hosting panel, all I need to do is head across to the additional ports page where I'm able to add port 24454 here. I'll say simple voice chat and just like that, 
the ports now open and people should be able to use voice chat on my server. Once you've forwarded ports and allowed it through your firewall, all you need to do now is start up your server if you haven't already after installing this plugin and players with this mod installed should be able to use voice chat. However, I haven't installed simple voice chat in my game client just yet and every player who wants to use voice chat will need to do so as well. Again, all of these different platforms are supported in all of these different versions, but for me, I'll be using the same version of Fabric that my server is running on 1.21.11. I haven't already downloaded Fabric, so I'll need to head across to fabricmc.net choose a download, open up the Windows installer after I download it and I'm able to just select install. Once I install it, it prompts me to download the Fabric API and place it in the mods folder, both of which are links. So I can click this to open up the CurseForge page for Fabric API, but I much prefer the ModRinth page. You'll find that linked down below. And of course the mods folder linked here takes us across to dot minecraft inside of our c users user app dot roaming dot minecraft folder here if you don't already have a mods folder simply just make a new folder called mods inside of here we'll need to download and install the fabric api again if you're using fabric if you're using forge you can skip the step or any other supported platform as those steps will be slightly different as long as you've got all the requirements and of course the actual simple voice chat mod so I'll download for Fabric once more, then everything should be working well. Opening up the Minecraft launcher, 1.21.11 is showing right here. I'll choose play, understand, play, and just like that, Minecraft is starting up with the mod installed. I can head across to multiplayer, and as the server is running on the same computer I'm hosting it on, I can just add a new server using the server address 127.0.0.1, or I can also use localhost as such. We're then able to join our server, and as you can see here, besides that, it tells me to use V to set up simple voice chat. Simply hit V wherever you are, and it says set up simple voice chat. This guide will help configure your voice chat. You can skip this if you know what you're doing. I'll choose next here just so we can get the full setup. First of all, it asks us to select the correct speakers. We can leave it as the default if you're hearing the game sounds. Otherwise, choose your correct speakers here and you can use this button to hear a sound. Then I'll hit next and in here we can choose the correct microphone. Mine is this one here. If you hit this button here, you should be able to hear yourself speaking until you hit it again. Then choose next and now we can set up push to talk or voice activation. I'd highly recommend using push to talk so it only sends your voice when you're pressing a button. Once you choose that, you can bind a key here for which I'll bind this to V. Once I choose next, everything's configured. We can open the voice chat menu with V and we can hold V continuously while we're speaking to send our voice. So just tapping V opens up this menu here where we can check the settings for the mod, where we can adjust volume of other players nearby, gain, change noise suppression if we've got a noisy fan running, things like that. We can change from push to talk to always active, change the key bind and even enable or change 3D audio so you can hear people moving around you. Finally, you can also change your microphone or speaker. Hit escape to go back and seems like there's an issue binding it to the same key as the mod itself so i'll just quickly change that using the push to talk button here and i'll make it say b good enough now whenever i hold b you can see the little icon in the bottom left indicating that i'm speaking in voice chat and nearby players should be able to hear me which is great however if you're in voice activation mode or open mic whenever you're speaking the icon should appear in the bottom left indicating that other people nearby can hear you as soon as you stop speaking this icon should vanish that's it as simple as that, anyone standing nearby, as long as they have this mod installed, should be able to hear you as you'd hope. Now, obviously, as it's a bit tough to demo, I've brought in a second account here who's playing music, and of course, it's Minecraft music, how fitting. To give you an 8D experience, I'll just move around my character here, and as you would expect, as I'm moving around, you can hear the sound moving in-game. Obviously, if someone was speaking, they'd be moving around as well. You can hear them in the world in 3D space, like over here on your left. However, if I open up the voice chat settings and change it from 3D audio to reduced, it's less pronounced and off. Just means we'll hear players like any other sound on our computer. There's no 3D space. Obviously, depending on what you like, you can set it as you see fit. It's a really powerful plugin that's incredibly easy to use. And of course, the further away from players you move, the quieter they get until eventually you just can't hear anything. This, of course, can be customized in that config file I mentioned previously, but for the most part, in general gameplay scenarios, the default settings are more than fine. But yeah, that's basically that. 
Thank you for watching this video and a special thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this guide. My name is Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.